The first full year of statistics on traffic stops here in Connecticut appear to confirm the belief of many that racial profiling is still a reality in our state. Now, Connecticut is the first state to produce a report like this, and it points directly at five police organizations as having the biggest problem on this front. Chief Political Correspondent Mark Davis has your back tonight, breaking down all those numbers. He joins us live tonight with all the details. Good evening, Mark. Hi, Keith. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. Now, the researchers are very, very quick to point out that a single cop or a handful of police officers in any one police organization can make everyone look bad. Every police organization in the state is now participating in this research covering over 600,000 traffic stops made in the state of Connecticut for the year that ended at the end of September. The statistical disparity provides evidence in support of the claim that certain officers in the state are engaged in racial profiling during daylight hours when motorist race and ethnicity is visible. And the statistics also indicate that when Hispanic drivers are stopped, they are more likely to have their vehicles searched. The results for the post-stop analysis confirm that the disparity carries through the post-stop behavior for Hispanic drivers searched. We always knew this. And having this data, which is, by the way, is a very conservative estimate of what is happening in the roads in Connecticut, is now telling us that it's happening. State Representative Bruce V. Morris of Norwalk says he was racially profiled in a traffic stop within the past few weeks. I think that many people of color have been vindicated. The data certainly indicates that racial profiling does exist. The authors of the report telling state lawmakers that there appears to have been a great deal of improvement since the conviction of five officers in East Haven, but that five police organizations appear to show the presence of significant ethnic and racial disparity in traffic stops. They specifically listed the city of Waterbury, State Police Troop H, which covers Hartford County, State Police Troop C, which covers Tallinn County, and the towns of Groton and Granby. We are committed to making sure that our officers are doing the right thing for the right reason, and we know the vast majority of them are. If there are outliers that need retraining, if there are outliers that need to be addressed, we are committed to taking care of that as well. The head of the state police issuing a statement saying, quote, should any deficiency be identified in the forthcoming analysis, intentional or otherwise, we will address it immediately and comprehensively. Now, you can check out the numbers and racial breakout of the traffic stops in your city or town, and there's an interactive map for you to use as well by coming to our website, WTNH.com, and clicking on this story. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.